So let's go back and make the chowder. Okay. Um, you have cut uh, beautifully. Yeah, okay. If you do sure. that, and if you could just cut up the leek over there. Okay. We have some Oops. butter melting here. And this is um, when you, I figured that when I had such a pristine thing like this beautiful salmon that I didn't really want to do much to it just to have a very simple chowder. You know, chowders all over this country, whether it's the Northeast or the Northwest, and certainly Alaska is no exception, chowders are made, which are basically I, just I love chowder. the simplest way, yeah. of course. So what's the definition of a chowder? A chowder. Ah, uh, chowder. Chowder. That's how we say it in Massachusetts. No, that's where my how they mom say it in lives. Maine, too. Chowder. Maine. You know, there is the etymology of the word. I don't know it off the top of my head. It's it's um, it's something like, oh, I know what it is. Chow it referred down. to the kettle that oh. it was cooked in. That's what it originally was. Okay. The very first recipe that I was able to locate was done in Boston, 1700. So we saute this down patiently you until the whole story on chowders in the magazine. Yes, yeah, I got another fabulous. another another wonderful story that I did oh, actually yes. with Chris Baker. Right. So Martha, when it's all cooked down, it looks just like this and it's not browned, it's softened. And that's important for the final dish because you don't want you want it to be very lovely so and that gentle. That cooks down to cook, that. Cooks down it's to this. It's uh, really a big difference. It's right? about 6 to 8 minutes, so you okay. really have to be patient. To that, now we're almost finished, I add three Yukon Gold tomatoes, uh, potatoes rather, that I've cut up, and two carrots. And since I have so few ingredients here, I'm just paying attention to the cut yeah. and how it's going to float beautifully in that soup. So we just stir that. If you want to stir that for me, please, Martha, I have about um, six cups of a fish fumet that I've made. Now, best quality fish stock is really what so it is. So the bones and the heads of yes. the salmon can you use? You or can, they... I, yes, and it makes okay. the most gorgeous pink fumet. Yeah. The only tip I want to give people if they're making their own is don't let it come to a boil. Yeah, just simmer and you for, just, um, like, for very few minutes. It's only about 20 to 30 minutes. Right. And that way it won't get cloudy if you don't bring it to a boil. So here There's I, some very wanna, wanna um, hold that back? You know, yeah. good quality fish stocks available at your fishmonger now you can buy. But it's great to make it, and it's such a great thing to have on hand for seafood pastas or anything like that. So bring that to a simmer. Bring that to a simmer, and look what you have. And mm. then all we do here is just add 12 ounces of skinless salmon. But now what kind of salmon? Wild salmon from Wild Alaska. Wild Alaska salmon. That's right. And we just, That's what we're using this here. This is only going to cook. I just ate a piece. I it's saw you take raw. a little nibble. It was my sashimi breakfast. Nothing could be better for you first thing in the oh, morning, no, it's right? so good. So this, oh. we don't want it to break apart. This is going to cook for about three minutes just until it's opaque. We have some, um, a tablespoon of fresh dill. And more salt? A little bit of salt, a half a teaspoon. And I love the dill with the salmon and the oh, potatoes. So I. I think it's oh. such a great combination. And then um, we cook this down a little bit. Mm, you it's can put ready. this in. And then last but not least, just about a half a cup of heavy cream, which isn't much. Okay. And it's going to give us the beautiful um, tone if you want to just gently pour it in. Again, we're not in a hard boil here. And that's it. Nothing could be simpler, right? And it's the hearty, hearty dish. It's so simple to make, and I think it looks pretty beautiful. So, we have well, a lot of fun together. Well, here's and my other son, uh, Miles, who actually is a professional cook, Oops, Excuse yeah. me. Thank you. He's on the special too. And my mom came and Oh yeah, your mom looked great. Yeah, she thank goodness yeah. is just So you can meet in Lucinda's there. entire family, Mad Hungry for the Holidays, airs December sixth at nine PM, right here on Hallmark Channel. Great food, great fun. Don't miss it. Lucinda, I'm gonna taste this before I say thank you. Okay. Oh my gosh, this it looks, looks good, so right? good. Yeah. Mm. Delectable. Oh yeah. Thank you. Thank you.